What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Big news today, Uncover has been updated to version 7.0.1. It just got a whole heck of a lot easier to jailbreak iOS 14.4 to 14.5.1. So in this quick video, we're gonna take a look at this brand new utility that was just released. I had my fair share of time to check out version 7.0 and I just didn't feel comfortable with its stability as well as with its uh, difficult and lengthy process to install to share with everybody. But now you can use either a Windows based PC or a Mac to sideload one utility, which jailbreaks your device in one fell swoop, kind of like we're used to. It doesn't sound like this is the full untether, at least for all devices, but I'll get into support and all that stuff later in this video. Before we do, I'd like to give a huge shout out to our friends at Surfshark. Now, if you've yet to hear me talk about Surfshark, they have an awesome VPN service and an awesome deal going on right now. You can use the promo code ICU at checkout to get Surfshark 83% off and three months entirely free. Now a VPN is great to have whether you're traveling or anywhere on a public Wi-Fi network that you're sharing with other computers. You can keep all of your data and internet traffic private. Also, you can access Netflix, Hulu, YouTube, and content libraries all over the world even when you're at home. And that's typically how I use it. Now my favorite part about Surfshark is you only need one subscription for an unlimited amount of devices. I have all my Xboxes, Fire TVs, iPhones, and all my computers running Surfshark at the exact same time under one subscription plan. Anyway guys, if you're looking for a VPN and you're interested in this deal, definitely check the first link down below in this video's description. Use the promo code ICU at checkout to get 83% off and three months free. All right, so very quickly, just so everyone knows who this video is for, this Uncover Jailbreak utility now works on iOS 14.4 to iOS 14.5.1 on devices ranging from the iPhone XS, which I have right here, that we'll use in today's video, all the way up to and including the iPhone 12, and of course the iPhone 11 being in the middle of that. So. This isn't a jailbreak on iOS 15 for the latest and new devices, but it's still pretty cool considering it's the first untethered jailbreak that's been released in six years. So I'm sure there'll be some updates coming. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you don't miss out on those, but let's get into jailbreaking. But without further ado, let's get into jailbreaking. So like I said at the start of this video, this is a pretty particular jailbreak. You have to have a supported device running a supported iOS version, and for the very first install, you have to have a computer to install it, at least for now. Now, if you catch a lucky break, there are some on-device signing platforms that will probably host this uh, new version of Uncover. I'll let you guys know in the comments and pin it if I find one that is active and live, but they go down so often. If you guys have a computer to use, this is honestly the easiest way. The cool thing with this jailbreak, however, is with Fugu 14, you will not need to sign your jailbreak utility every seven days. You only need to do this process once. So since we're using the alt store method, let me recap the steps to install alt store real quickly before I do that. If you guys already have alt store installed, you have to update alt server on your computer so that it installs the latest version of alt store on your device. If you're brand new to all of this, uh, just follow this tutorial and we're going to install the latest version of Alt Store right now. To get Alt Server on a Mac, you can head to the links down below and download it. Once downloaded, you unzip the file and then move the application to the apps folder and click on the app to open it. Now once open, it appears up here in the status bar, we're going to install the mail plugin. We can go ahead and open up the mail app to enable this. Make sure you have a mail account active in this app. From here, we can go to preferences, manage plugins, and activate the alt server plugin. And it's going to restart the mail app once it's done. Now you can minimize mail, but definitely leave this open in the background for it to work correctly. 
So now Alt Server is installed and ready to use. So a few extra steps on Windows. One, you first have to download iTunes and iCloud directly from Apple's site. Just select looking for other versions to download those. Also uninstall the Microsoft Store version of iTunes before doing this process. Uh, to make sure things go smoothly, first install iCloud and enable iCloud Drive and bookmarks, and then install iTunes. Again, the Apple version, not Windows. Now we can download Alt Store directly from the site. Again, open up the application and install it real fast. Uh, once it is installed, we can launch it. Just search for it in the bottom left. Now it's located in the system tray. To open it, you can expand and show hidden icons if you don't see it but right there is Alt Server. Uh, so we're ready for the next step. So to install Alt Store with Alt Server, since it's up and running, uh, you can connect your iPhone to your computer and trust the connection on both devices. Uh, once it's trusted, we can head to Finder on a Mac or iTunes and navigate to our iPhone's little pane here. You're just gonna wanna click Show This iPhone When on Wi-Fi. And now you're free to un unplug the iPhone uh, and you can continue to install Alt Store over a Wi-Fi connection instead of having to plug it in every time. So from here, we can click on the Alt Server button, then click Install Alt Store on your iPhone's name, enter your Apple ID credentials, click OK if you get this pop-up if you've used Alt Store in the past, and in just a second, Alt Store will be installed on our phone. Now lastly, to open the app on the device, we're going to go into Settings, General, Device Management, and Trust our Apple ID. Okay, so now we can get into Alt Store on our phones. Now we can go to the Uncover official website. And again, I'll have this linked down below in this video's description. Once we're here, all we need to do is click Open in Alt Store right down here at the bottom and click Open once more. And again, if Alt Server is still running on your computer, uh, everything is good to go. And all we need to do now is sign in with our Apple ID on our iOS device. And once we're signed in, it'll pop up with that screen. We can just click OK. This one's a new sign that comes up. It says jailbreak requires untethering. This jailbreak is untethered, which means Uncover will never expire, even after seven days or rebooting the device. That's pretty sweet. Installing an untethered jailbreak requires a few extra steps, but Alt Store will walk you through the process. All right, let's install this untethered jailbreak. Okay. We're continuing in app, and it looks like we're going to click Setup Fugu 14. All right, open Alt Store to continue installing the untether. And now it says Patching Uncover Placeholder. Interesting, this is kind of a unique setup here. I'll go ahead and click Open Placeholder once more. And now we're going to install the Untether. Let me turn my brightness down just slightly so you guys can see what's going on. Install Untether. And now a reboot is required. Interesting. All right, so real quick, I forgot to say before I started this jailbreak process, dang, I just clicked away that uh, pop-up, but I'm currently running iOS 14.4.1, and so that looks like it's working perfectly fine. It looks like we can update the untether or uh, restore the root FS right within the Fugu 14 app. If I go to Alt Store, look at that. It says, finish installing uncover. So I guess we're gonna head back into Alt Store after you reboot your device and continue with the installation. But technically at this point in time, your guys' devices are jailbroken uh, since Fugu 14 is installed. And this is again an untethered jailbreak. It sounds like Uncover still will need to be run after every reboot for now, but hopefully in the near future, that will be fully untethered as well too. So it says follow the instructions in Uncover to finish jailbreaking. And again, this is your typical uh, jailbreak that you're used to now. It's funny, they haven't even updated the 4 yet. It says iOS 11 to 14.3, even though we're jailbreaking on iOS 14.4.1 right there. And we'll tap jailbreak to install Cydia. And I guess we're going to always allow substitute. 
Boy, there's a lot of button presses with this. And uh, you guys can check this out if you want. I've yet to install it, so I'm not going to review it for now. But there we have it, guys. Jailbreak completed. We'll click OK, and our device is going to respring now. And hopefully, just like that, there we have it, guys. We have Uncover. Uh, I guess allow substitute for permission, but there we have it. We have Cydia. Let's start there and finish off this process Just so you guys can see Cydia is running on iOS 14.4.1 again This jailbreak works all the way up to iOS 14.5.1 You'll want to do a complete upgrade once the jailbreak uh, or once Cydia fully loads. So we'll do that real fast Of course Cydia has an error right at the start on video, but I don't think that's a jailbreak problem, that's just a connection issue or something right there, but everything updated successfully that time. Um, what else do we got here? What is this untether? Like we have uncover, jailbroken, untether, jailbroken. Interesting. So two apps. Not quite sure why there's two off the top of my head. Let me know, if you guys know, let me know down below in the comment section. Um, but that was a pretty, oh, then we have like a substitute app now. That's pretty sweet. Well, I'm liking what I see so far, guys. Again, the jailbreak process was a little bit more lengthy, but this is an untethered jailbreak this time. Let's go ahead and reboot and just see what happens so I can advise you guys exactly what's going to go down. Uh, when you reboot. All right, so we're booting back up and let's see what happens. So Cydia crashes. Uncover says unsupported now. So that's what the untether is for, is you jailbreak with that uh, when you want to re-enable your jailbreak, I'm guessing. Let's see if this does it in one step. All right, so there we go. I uh, ran that process, let the device respring, Cydia opened right away. So it looks like that is why there is two apps. You uh, use the untether uh, to re-enable the jailbreak, at least for now. Again, eventually this is going to be a fully untethered jailbreak. We're so close at this point in time, but it is a lot easier to install than what it was when it was when version 7.0 was released. Anyway, the big news is you can now jailbreak up to iOS 14.5.1. Thank you guys so much for stopping by today. I'll catch you guys real soon with a Top Tweaks video, but until then, this is Tony, signing out.